If dating feels like a repetitive loop and every so often you attract that dream guy, but you immediately punt him right out of your reality. The key to breaking this cycle is an energetic shift. And without mastering this inner shift, you guys, you will continue to attract the same experiences. And every time you do call your dream guy in, he won't stay. Hey guys, I'm Angela Jean. If you are new to my channel, I share step-by-step -step methods, how to remove old self-identification stories so that you can continue to choose the life that you desire. Even when negative circumstances try to throw you off course. Each video will give you a method to tell your mind where you want to go and how you're going to get there. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to energetically shift so that when you attract the person that you want, the one you really desire, it can lead to a stable connection that you can build on in a healthy way. But I'm also going to break down the runner chaser dynamic, why it happens and how you can finally break the loop energetically. This is a loop that you're creating. So you have the power power to break it energetically. It can be done. And when you harness this power, everything you want, everything you attract will stay. The thing you guys, we always have to remember is that we're not just these mechanical Barbies running around life. We need to zoom out. There's a whole universe at play here. And our higher self is always trying to guide us. Like many of us get caught up in the Barbie world and we're just focused on chasing Ken around in his cool car. And we don't realize that there's no depth to this doll, that he's completely empty. You know what I mean? There's no depth to these dudes. That's why we are being forced to ruminate and think and rethink what do we truly want in a commitment and it's a way of actually kicking us out of our ego that is attached to the things and the material world because what does the ego want what do we want in the material world we want the hot guy the cool guy the guy that's perfectly dressed the guy with the cool house but what does our higher self want that doesn't give a shit about anything in this material world depth growth expansion elevation all the things that cannot be delivered by the empty Ken doll that we often find ourselves chasing around. All right, guys, so let's break it down. The common theme that many of us are guilty of is that we meet someone, there's chemistry, the connection is great for a few weeks, and then it fizzles out. Sound familiar? When these moments happen, there's actually a few things that are going on behind the scenes. So you have to ask yourself and get really real because you have no secrets from yourself. Is it the excitement that pulls you in, but there's no real depth to it? This is when we put on these rose colored goggles and we will convince ourselves that there's depth because it visually looks like the life that we want. I get caught up in this all the time because I'm one of the most vain people I know. I inherited it from my grandma. I want everything perfect. I want them to look perfect, talk perfect, walk perfect, perfect house, perfect car. Everything's turnkey except for there's no true connection. Okay, so stay focused because in these moments, there are many versions of ourselves that we can choose from. But because we haven't spent enough time building out our deep rooted beliefs about love and what we truly want, and this is built out from our inner world. The law of balance will always take over you guys. This law ensures that our outer world reflects our inner world. So just to give an example, my inner world being so vain and so vanity focused continues to deliver me the vain vanity focused men. But in the past, I had never spent any time building out what a connection really meant to me, not how I want it to look. How do I want to feel? You know what I mean, you guys? So until you spend time building out your deep rooted beliefs about love, you will continue to attract what your inner world, what your deep rooted belief is about love. It doesn't matter if you say you want love, you want a connection. What does that feel like? Have you sat with that? Or are you just focused on the Ken Barbie dolls like me that can deliver you the visual life you want, but it doesn't feel like anything. So your love story may look how you want it to look, but do you feel how you want to feel? Anytime the chaser runner dynamic unfolds, you have created that. And I promise you guys, you are 100% in your masculine energy. So if you don't want to feel like that, if you want to be the female that's in receptive mode, receiving love, receiving text, receiving calls, you have to build out that inner reality. You have to sit with how you want to feel instead of how you want it to look. So let's say that you don't connect with that. Let's say that you are someone that knows exactly how you want it to look and exactly how you want it to feel. Then what gives in that situation? Again, 
It's that inner reality. So even though you say that you want love and you know exactly how you want it to feel, in the beginning when everything's new and everything's exciting, right? You're thinking about, oh my God, I finally am feeling how I want to feel. Everything's perfect. This really is my dream reality. But then when that first trigger hits, let's say he doesn't text for a day, our strong emotions kick in and that emotional charge activates a new reality and boom, the runner chaser dynamic unfolds and it happens that fast. Start fearing and writing a story of why they haven't text, why they haven't called, why is it taking them so long to respond, which creates a huge energetic shift from love, passion, and joy, which are all at the top of the emotion guidance scale, to fear, insecurity, and doubt, which are at the very bottom. And this is unfortunately where many of us get stuck. A timeline opens up and we start feeding that negative story. So these are the powerful moments. These are the powerful pivots where you break the psycho cybernetic loop. The minute you make the choice to focus on fear by obsessing about it, which is creating that emotional charge of stress and anxiety. You feel it pulse through your body. You know, you do. You collapse all possibilities of a timeline where you guys are together that new reality unfolds and the chase is on. Your focus, your energetic charge, your attention to it has created the new reality that has unfolded where you are chasing and they are running. So even though in the physical world, you may not be reaching out, you may not be texting, energetically you are chasing. And this is how the runner chaser dynamic is created. The good news is you have the power to collapse that timeline and recreate the new reality. And I'm gonna tell you exactly how to do that. So whether you're the runner or the chaser, both roles create a loop. This loop is trying to get you to look at things differently, to break through the program of your own illusions and beliefs, you guys. Do you hear me? To break through the program of your own illusions and beliefs. This is when your inner world becomes crucial to break this loop. You need to focus Set your intent, have a clear vision and start building from there. The contrast of dating gives you nonstop clarity. When something works, write it down. When something doesn't work, write it down. If you like something, write it down. If you don't like something, write it down. Be writing this down and be only focusing on the list that has the things that you want. You really have to look at love and what you want in life and what you want into relationships like a buffet. When you guys go to a buffet full of food, you get a bunch of things because you may not know what you want, but we all know when you have a plate full of food and you kind of have tasted everything, you know what you want because you eat it all and you leave all the shit that you don't want on the side of your plate. You don't even touch it. And when you go back to the buffet, you only get more of what you want. You literally have to look at it like that. I know that sounds crazy, but like same way when you put the food that you don't want off the plate and you let the waiter take it away and you don't ask for more of it, you don't get more of it. You have to treat your love relationships, everything in your life the same way. Only get more of what you want. And the only way to get more of what you want is to know what you want and only focus on what you want. So if you find yourself in the runner chaser dynamic, you need to collapse this timeline because it's not the version of you you want, but it's also not the version of him you want. And usually there's too much of a momentum going to get a grip on these and flip the script. I personally collapse the timeline by self-sabotaging it. You guys don't need to do this. If you're able to date and just move on, that's great. But most of the time we know that even if we start dating, the person we're obsessing over, we're still energetically thinking about, we're still energetically chasing them by watching and waiting for them to text or call. So oftentimes I may start dating and when they text or call, what I do to sabotage and to completely collapse the timeline is to basically tell them to go choke on their own breadcrumbs and I'm done. <laughs> you don't need to do that. You do you. That's just what I do because I know that I can create a new timeline. I'm not worried about it. So once you have collapsed the timeline, it's time to step into the creator of you. So here are the exact steps. Number one, you have to remove the energy blockage of fear. Meaning if you're afraid to collapse that timeline, if if you're afraid to tell your dream guy to go choke on his breadcrumbs, then you're still navigating life from a place of 
fear. If you guys did not see my video last week, I'm gonna put a screen at the end of the video. You have to watch that because you have emotional gunk that is trapped in your meridian centers. And until you remove those blocks, you can call things in, but it's almost like there'll be a wall in between your love story and they won't move forward. Watch that video. There's also an audio attached. I show you exactly how to do it by massaging your meridian points. That only has to be done for like two minutes, you guys. These are little things that you have to start doing because you have to learn how to control your reality before it manifests. Another thing I want you guys to realize is when you're triggered by your dream guy and the fear thoughts start to kick in, that momentum, you have gone unconscious. You have gone into the programs of your childhood beliefs. Okay, listen to me when I say that, you guys. The minute your love story is going great and then boom, there's a trigger and you start spiraling, negativity kicks in, fearful thoughts, doubt, insecurities, you've gone unconscious. I know these are like big words sometimes, you guys, but you're in the program of your childhood beliefs. This starts to steer your choices. This throws you into that chaser. If you don't heal that root, it will continue to navigate everything in your world. That is why those blockages of fear have got to be removed. You have to start doing these methods. A big part with all of this self-help stuff is that it's so freaking boring. I make everything I can as fun as possible. That's why music creates an echo chamber that makes it something that you look forward to doing. And my sessions are short because as long as you're intentional, you sit down with the intent to remove this block, to fight through this fear. Intention is what shapes your reality always. As long as you're moving with intention, the life you want will start to unfold because your intention comes from where? The mind. Boom. And that's when you're sculpting and molding your inner world. So until you're able to really close your eyes and see it and feel it with every cell of your body and your inner world, you will not be able to open your eyes and touch it in your reality because it's fading because you haven't spent enough time in your inner world seeing it, touching it, feeling it. That's why when you open your eyes, you may see it for a second, but it's fleeting. It's the law of balance. Your inner world reflects your outer world. But we have to realize even our fear is there to serve us. It's the law of balance asking us a question, what are you afraid of? What haven't you faced? Because when you face your fear and you ask yourself, why do I, why am I afraid of this? It usually comes back to, because I feel I don't deserve this, because I was never shown this, because I don't know what that feels like, because I'm afraid that if I do feel it, it's gonna leave all of that stuff. And you start to spiral, you've gone unconscious. You've gone into the subconscious program of your childhood belief of fear, doubt, and insecurity. You have to put a wall up, you guys, so that you're not manifesting from this space. If you continue to manifest from this space, you'll get the same thing over and over again. So what I want you guys to do is say, I am, state your name, and I'm feeling the emotion of blank. You have to say that because it creates a wall so that you're not manifesting from it. It doesn't connect the emotional charge to your thought, which puts energy in motion, which supercharges your fear and creates it. So I want you to do those three things. Like I said, if you didn't see my video from last week, you're gonna wanna watch that one, download the audio. It is so good, you guys. And as always, all my videos now come with one to two minute mirror affirmations. I want you to download this one. It reminds you that your inner world is your palace. That is where you have absolute dominion and control. And I will see you guys next week. My inner world is my palace. That is where I have absolute dominion and control.